Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Carrier Junior with you and uh, bringing you a new game here. It's been several months since I've uploaded a uh, YouTube video here. Um, as you guys know, the uh, channel is uh, mainly about uh, naval warfare uh, gameplay here, but uh, towards the end there, after I've uh, ventured with the you know, victory at Sea Pacific for quite a while, I uh, basically started getting into a bit of my other passions there, which were X-Plane and uh, uh, DCS World and uh, some aviation games. But uh, so I took a break also and uh, was kind of busy with work. But uh, here I am back with this game, uh, which is U-Boat. I'm bringing you U-Boat. Uh, it's uh, developed by uh, Deepwater Studios. And uh, it is a game that I've been waiting for a long, long time. I remember when I started the channel, this was one of the games that uh, I knew I had to feature uh, because it just uh, looked like an amazing game from um, from the trailers and everything we knew about it back uh, a few years ago. So this game was originally supposed to be released in 2017, uh, but it got delayed and um, it did get uh, released to uh, early Kickstarter backers uh, uh, in October of last year but then uh, recently here um, just a couple weeks ago it got released on early access on Steam and so it's available to the rest of us finally um, I believe the game started with like their target was 20,000 so on Kickstarter and uh, I think they got 38,000, and uh, and this is this is what they've built, and uh, What's and it's uh, I must say it's as impressive as a game as those trailers as as, I, uh, as those trailers make it made it out to seem. Um, I've logged a co couple hours on it so far, um, as I do to try to get. <coughs> Um, as I do with games that I just get into, I'm of course a disclaimer as always, no expert. Uh, but I do try, to, I did try to uh, familiarize myself with it. So without further ado, um, I'm just gonna start by giving you guys a tour of the boat and then the dock here. Um, we are here at a French dock. Um, Let's see if uh, in the Bay of Biscay, so doo -doo 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 -doo. the port of La Rochelle. So this is the port of La Rochelle, and uh, we're docked here. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna give you a tour of the boat and the and the port, uh, set some things up, and uh, and then basically go on our first patrol here. And um, while as I go th as we go through, I will give you my impressions of the game, uh, which uh, so far uh, are very very good. Now remember, this game is in early access, so it will have some bugs. Um, but as as I do in all the main a lot of the games that I feature in this channel, uh, it's typically games that I like to support. And uh, this is not a AAA game, uh, like a blockbuster game. It's a game that. Uh, it's one of those games that uh, you can tell was made with love and with attention to detail. Uh, so let's get started here. So what we have here is a um, Type 7 U-boat. I believe uh, over 700 of these were uh, manufactured during World War II uh, by the Germans. This one in particular is U-96. and. Uh, the game is essentially, uh, well, obviously, a submarine uh, simulator, uh, but it is um, very enjoyable. It's not. It's 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 kind of not a full simulation, but it does allow you to do a lot of things. Um, many people have called it uh, a crew management game more than anything. Uh, so, anyways, this um, this is the external view of uh, the the ship here and as you can see you can zoom in and zoom out and uh, 
the first thing you will notice is the graphics are amazing and uh, the water is very calm here and you will see as we go out to sea the, the water and the environmental effects are absolutely spectacular. I'm running this game on like a four or five year old laptop and it is on maximum settings so I don't know how it's gonna show up on YouTube but I mean look at this you get the water that uh, like the the reflections in the water you can see below look at that I'm gonna be a lot of doing a lot of gawking here so this is the underwater and one of the most amazing things of the game here is that uh, is everything is just seamless like like you can basically uh, look around the ship from the outside and then if you press M you'll go to the map and uh, if you zoom out all the way I mean you can you can go all the way and uh, there is no no real limit to the map and here is the beauty part of the map and the engine itself so here I'm uh, scrolling with my wheel and I'm um, zooming into the map area this is the sight uh, range of the uh, of the vessel and as you zoom in uh, we see that that's our uh, u-boat and this is the um, uh, the port uh, and here it is the beautiful part of it it actually renders the boat and the sea and uh, you can zoom all the way you see the sailors here you can see the sailors on the um, on the ship itself and this is the most spectacular part is that the map itself it, you, it, it's amazing that they can zoom to that level press M again and we're back here so uh, I'll show you the other view so that was the map view and this is the 3d view of the ship uh, when you scroll out you can scroll out like this and then what happens if you scroll a couple more times something special happens boom the ship opens up and you can see the interior so as you can see uh, I'm scrolling from the back of the ship all the way to the front so here we have the back of the ship uh, we have the compressors the air compressors one of them oh <laughs> there appeared the uh, because they're loading the torpedoes right now, so there's a torpedo that got loaded. Um, and here's the aft torpedo launcher. So here you can see uh, there's the air compressors. Um, I believe these are the electric uh, engines. These are the diesel engines. You get the crew members, which are split between officers and sailors. Here's the kitchen, and there is a um, a uh, bit of a um, storage locker there for the food and things like that. Here's the sailors' uh, cr the crew compartment. Here is the um, the con, or well, I guess you call it the con. Uh, here you have the radio room, the listening room, the captain's um, quarters or bed, I should say. You got the officers' beds, and then you have some more. This is the crew sleeping area, which is uh, nice and cozy with the torpedoes. Here's the forward torpedoes, there's four of them. And then up here you can see that they're storing the, uh, the torpedoes that are not loaded in there. So in this game you can play from the 3D view from the outside, you can play from the map view, you can play from this section view, that's the third view, and first person view. There's four views you can play, um, play from which is absolutely impressive. The other thing is we can zoom further. So here is me zooming in uh, and then let's take this guy for example and you click on this button and it zooms on him and then if I click further this look at this loose zoom level right here absolutely amazing full detail one more scroll wheel and you get this view and one more uh, I guess there's no more and more but I could leave his position and now I, I have Kaloi. and here I am in first person I was the radio operator and now I am inside the ship I guess we'll use him 
to do a little tour. Um, so, actually, you know what? I'll do it with the captain. I'll do it with the captain. I'll start from the outside and then we'll go back inside. How about that? So all you have to do is reassign him here. You just click there. You scroll back with the scroll wheel one more time and then you're back. Now let's click here on the captain and click on this thing and bam, captain is at, up top. Uh, this view you can drag like this and it goes right back up uh, uh, and you can see the captain. Uh, we have a 8.8 .8 inch or centimeter gun here, like a, I guess a 3 point something inch gun, uh, deck gun. Here I have a, I think it's a 20 millimeter anti-aircraft gun. And that's about it as far as the top goes. Uh, you got the flag. I'm not going to go through all of these things. This is the attack periscope that's used to uh, target ships. And then you've got your observation periscope, which is this guy right here. And so on and so forth. But uh, I think instead of going through everything, uh, we'll probably we're basically going to see what uh, uh, those things once we get to them. So I'm going to leave position with the captain. Um, <coughs> so what we'll do here's this is what we'll do. We'll go through and I'll customize the crew. That's the first thing I'll do. The second thing is with the captain, I'll give you a tour of the outside, then the inside, and then we'll go. How about that? So let me click back here. So the one thing you can do is you have five officers and you can customize them. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's click on our captain, Mr. Graf, and then you click on this guy here and you can customize them. So first of all, name. Let's go with the uh, easily rememberable name. So I'm going to use Star Trek because I can easily look at a name and uh, and basically he's going to be Jean-Luc Picard because uh, he'll be the captain. Uh, for his shirt Let's go with, um, so you got all these shirts, let's give him a jacket with a sweater, nice look, Pref uh, very captain-ish. As an accessory we'll give him, we'll give him a pipe because he's a captain. And then, yeah, that's a pretty good beard. Actually, yeah. That's a good beard right there. I think that's pretty good for Jean-Luc. He's going to be the watch officer and he's a leader. And that's him. So, Mr. Picard. Mr. Kirkler here. Let's go for him. Mr. Kirkler is going to be our number one. Our first officer. First officer is supposed to be kind of tough looking. So let's give him a tough looking look. How about. Yeah, that's pretty tough. Nice uh, scary jacket. Let's give him. Um, Give him an eye patch. Uh, the hair is fine, I guess. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Uh, that's a tough first offer, so good cop, bad cop, right, guys? Uh, he's a G Chief Boats Boats Wayne. We'll leave him at that. What about this guy, Newman? Uh, what is he? He's a radio man. Um, it's gonna be Mr. Data. Or just Data. How about Data? Uh, kind of a techie guy. Clothes. Hmm. What would Data wear? I 
I guess, yeah, that's pretty data-ish, I guess. Um, he is an officer, so might as well give him a cap, too. And that's good enough. Did I name him? Data, yeah. Mr. West and Mr. Loris are engineers, so... Let's go with Mr. This guy is the chief engineer, so our chief engineer is obviously going to be Jordi LaForge. And he's going to have to look smart here, so. Ooh, what was that? That looks very engineer ish. Um. Engineers always wear glasses, right? So that's good. I think that's pretty good. Very engineerish. Mr. Forge. And then this guy is the other engineer. So let's go ahead and make this guy super nerdy and call him Einstein he'll be our German our only German guy clothes uh, ultra 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 engineer uh, hmm, I guess like a big coat I would say a big coat. Yeah, that's good. Coat, uh, glasses for sure. Um, obviously officers. Actually, like, yeah, the engineer. Tuke, no, is very young. This guy's gotta be an older guy. Give him that cap. How about his face? His face, oh, beard. Yeah, lots of beard. And then, um, he needs to look a bit older. Uh, face type. Uh, oh, these guys look really angry. Okay, how about this guy? Okay, whatever. Very, like, angry looking Einstein. There we go. So we got our crew. Uh, yeah. So we set up our crew as I said I would. And now, let's go here. Take our captain and move him. Uh, let's have him leave position. Now let's go down. Uh, where's the ladder? Holy shit. There you go, ladder. Climb down. I'm gonna climb down. And then... Before we do the tour of the boat, we're gonna come out here and check out what's going on here. So we got the, um... We got the recruitment officer with the recruits, and we got the leading officer who's gonna give us missions. So, before we do any of that, anyways, um, that's where you get the stores. But we actually don't have to go really like first person. I just wanted to show you the. Uh, you can actually click on them. Okay, so here comes, here starts the tour. Beautiful, beautiful looking. I'm gonna do this kind of slowly and uh, have you guys kind of appreciate all the detail. The absolute love that went into this game. Like, look at the reflections. Like, my computer can't quite handle um, these, the high, these extreme settings. It's actually, the frame rates are a bit low. Hopefully it'll be okay. But I just couldn't resist 
Uh, you got the motion blur, you got the depth perception. Um, so yeah, what is this? Nice red light. Oh, that's the um, that's the searchlight. So let's go to the back here or the front, I guess I should say. Oh, never mind. The searchlight is up there. Uh, here's the sign of the U-96, which is the um, the same boat that was on Das Boot, which is that three-hour like submarine U-boat uh, submarine movie, if you guys recall, which is actually inspiration for this game, or one of the inspirations. So here we are. Uh, I think this is the hatch. It's one of the hatches. Uh, might be uh, for the kitchen. Uh, we'll see, we'll show you how that gun works here in a bit, or later, I guess. So, I always forget which side is the, uh, the ladder. Alright, so let's climb up and do a tour of the boat. So, up here we have the machine gun and we have the flag, so we could... You know, put the flag on and off. Uh, these are the sailors. Um, that's one of the cool things. Is it's a living and breathing thing. Look at look at that uh, field of view or focus. See now it's focusing on the sailor. Now it's not. Anyways, uh, this thing is uh, that's a periscope observation periscope. Actually no, that's the one. I don't know. This is the attack periscope for targeting. This in this one is the observation periscope. That's the searchlight. This one is the targeting sight. So, uh, well, I guess we'll look at that later as well. Anyways, here's a nice little hatch. Let's get back in and climb down. So right here we have the uh, the attack periscope. Nice. Actually, sorry, this is the attack periscope. What am I talking about? Well, a whole bunch of stuff here. But look at that level of detail. Look at look at the textures. It's like incredible. Absolutely incredible. I don't even know what half of this stuff is. Anyway, let's go down. Look at the ground, all the texture. So here we have the maps for navigation. Uh, meats. You know, if you get hungry, you just take a bite. Uh, here we have the depth control, I think. What is it called? Depth steering stations. Uh, right here you have that, uh, I think this is the blow off valve, or when you blow the tanks. I don't know why it's not showing. Anyways, you turn this thing and it just blows all the tanks. Uh, this is the observation periscope. Very nice. And then, right here, we have the gyro compass. Compass. Uh, here we have the pumps, uh, which you hope to never use. But basically, every time there's flooding, these pumps pump water out. But just turning them on. This is the light switch. I'll show you guys later. You can switch to blue, silent running, or red for. Uh, when you're in battle. So here, we have a bunch of uh, crew just sleeping. Crew quarters. Hello, Mr. Claus. Let's continue on. Here we have the kitchen. Most important man on the ship, right? With the cook. Here we have the storage room. Here we have the uh, bathroom for all these gentlemen. And uh, no showers, obviously. And bananas. Here. Yeah, 
Oh, look at that. Who is this? Felix. Why does it say Felix, though? I think you have to reload once. Hey, we're not pushing here. Jesus. Uh, yeah, that's our engineer. Mr. Uh, LaForge should be. Ventilation. The engines. Look at the detail on these engines. And these things move. Like, they're fully modeled. You got all the springs and everything, and when they move at different speeds. When, um, when you're going faster. Here you have the electric engines, which you use when you're underwater, obviously. Much slower. Very nice. Oh my god, look at it. Back here you have uh, the compressed air, the compressors for the air. You got this one that runs on diesel, and this one that's electric. And then you got the after torpedo. Perfect. Now let's go to the other side of the ship. Let's run through all these guys. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. I am your captain. Make way. Get out of my way. Out of my way. Okay, dokie. So here we are in the uh, five star section of the uh, U boat. We've got uh, the five star captain's uh, desk, skipper's desk. Um, there's a radio room. Apparently, there's, it actually fits more people. Like, you can actually. I don't know how they fit more people in there, but like, anyways, that's uh, for listening to the radio. This is the sonar room. Beautiful. Crew compartments, and uh, if you want to play some cards, you pull out table. Look at that lighting, wow. Excuse me, can you just sweep somewhere else? Okay. Uh, cabinet. Uh, for storing uh, breathers, which are going to be important for working underwater. Um, okay. And here we have the forward. Uh, what do you call it? Torpedo room. Hello. How are you doing, Mr. Albert? A good time? Ready to go out to sea? Oh, this is beautiful. Peter launchers. So they're all like warmed up and they're all so we have room for more torpedoes so we're gonna get some torpedoes here and then head out to sea. But this is the thing I like about this game um, I don't know there's been uh, I've seen other like people review this game and everything so far a lot of people were I mean they're certainly impressed with some things but like I don't know I can't um, like to me there's they've just done so many things right like the graphics are amazing like it makes you really feel like you're a captain of this ship like it's like you're you're right right there I mean it's like a living breathing environment um, of course it's not as easy to play they say you can play in this mode uh, but when you know bad stuff hits the fan you basically, you know, want to probably be in this view. So here's here we are. So I showed you the ship. Now let's uh, click on these guys. Let's click on the warehouse. What do you need, officer? Okay, show me what you've got. So the upgrades we can't do right now because we don't have any of the money. But um, let's take a look at the stores. So we got four, uh, I think we can do, we have 6,000 money. So what we can do is uh, maybe take one more med kit. For food, I would say, oh, veggies are pretty expensive. About eight f this much veggies. These are replacement parts. I don't know why they don't just put them next to each other. Very important though. Uh, 
ammunition we got the deck gun ammunition there scrap metal fuel obviously we want as much fuel as possible torpedoes we want as many of those as possible so let's uh, so the T1s are steam powered and the T2s are electric so I honestly don't know what the difference is but we're gonna go ahead and uh, load up on these torpedoes so I don't know if it takes time to load these hopefully they'll load by uh, the time uh, for crew wise, we can talk to this guy. Kapitän, das kann deine neue Crew sein. Lassen Sie mich wissen, wenn Sie Ihre Dokumente sehen möchten. Yes, yeah, well, let's see what we got. So show me their files. So these are guys we could recruit. Peter Weber. Yes, recruit. Can I recruit? Oh, I don't have enough of this. Oh. And recruit it. Crew management. So we have 17 out of 18 sailors, so we need one more. So let's get this guy. So 18 sailors, zero leaders, and five officers. Mr. Picard, number one, Data, and Jordy, and Einstein. Okay, good stuff, goodbye. So, let's go here to Mr. Leading Officer. Mein BDU wird viel über ihre letzte Patrouillenfahrt geredet. Gute Arbeit. Okay, thank you. So, the favors are like, kind of like upgrades, we don't, we can't do that. Um, we need more reputation. So I'm just gonna take see what the are the orders. Streng geheim. So we're gonna go with the easy one. Your order will be to travel to sector BE, do 2,000 kilometers inside of it to complete the patrol, and there may be additional orders. So let's take this guy, and select. Perfect. Goodbye. Alrighty, now we are set to go. Um, I can explain a few more things here. So this one is the battery capacity. Uh, this thing has been running on batteries to keep the lights going for a bit, but it'll charge up very quick. We have 100% fuel, we have 100% uh, oxygen because we're open to the air. Um, Discipline will be full in 30 minutes, and then reputation and budget. Okay, perfect. This one right here is the speed, this is the depth, and this is the turn to ship. Alright. Oh, these guys are all pretty tired. So, let's send you to bed. Let's send you to bed. Let's send you to bed. We essentially don't need anybody. The only guy we'd really need. Captain. You can press tab by the way, and then go here to number one and put him in a navigation table, because otherwise that's the one thing you really need, otherwise you can't navigate. And he's fully rested, so while well, everybody is uh so that's it. Oh, look how close we are. All right, all ahead. Forward one. Let's go. Schneller, schneller. And let's turn. Let's just go straight. Maybe two degrees. Two degrees right. Here we go. Oh my god, this is so cool. So cool. I don't want the back to hit, so I gotta watch that as we turn. I think that's good enough. Let's go back to zero degrees. Sehr wohl, Herr Kaloy. 
Oh, that is so cool. Just leave at a nice pace. We got three guys on watch. All right now we can speed up. Forward two. Schneller, schneller. Forward three. Schneller, schneller. Let's see what this bad boy can do. We're 13 kilometers an hour. I left it a metric because it's Germans. They use the metric. I know we shouldn't be going this fast close to a port, but hey, I wanted to show you the wake. Look at that wake. Okay, that's a little too fast. How about forward two? Long summer. All right, so we're out. Let's go with the map view. Here we are. And then if you look here on the right, you're gonna see the depth. So right in front of us, so back here we were like six meters, five. It actually gets very, very. So let's plot a course. Auf diese Koordinaten setzen. Let's pull. Oh, look, look how narrow, like. Legen Sie den Kurs an. Gonna, gonna avoid the very shallow areas. Like this is just one meter of depth. Legen Sie den Kurs an. But it should be able to handle it. Three meters. One meter, zero meters. Well. What I could do is also just let it plot a route. Western approaches. Seven seventeen hundred kilometers. See, it knows best. Okay, so it's plotted a course. Everybody's napping. Crew morale is great. Uh, what I wanted to do is um, as we're trucking along here. Oh, nice turn. Uh, nice. Yeah, I want you guys to pay attention to how the sea changes. Like, already we're out of the port and you can see the sea is a bit rougher. So let's take this guy. And let's send him. Uh, let's send him. Let's send him here. And then, if you can click on this guy, you'll see him. and then click on this guy and then click here okay now it should work I think well this guy's station is occupied is there a captain? Yeah, it is is he going there? Yeah, he is okay so he's looking through the thing now. Sehr wohl, Herr Kaloy. Not what I meant to do. Yeah, let's click on the little thing. There we go. So this shows you his position, and you go manual mode, and here you go. You can look through the binoculars. Let's report. Oh, what's that? Go ahead and zoom in here. Oh, wow, nice. Anti aircraft guns. And there's a whole bunch of other things you can do here. But I haven't messed with that very much, so yeah. If you scroll back, get out of the view. Ha 
have him come here. The other thing is right here you can speed up time. So you'll see everything is moves faster and there he is. And then you can click right here and we're in first person. Look at this view. I think if you leave him be, he'll probably end up doing its own thing. Or maybe not. Well, let's send him to sleep anyways. Click on him. You go to sleep. Okay, there we go. He was going somewhere. But we'll send him to sleep. And that's it, folks. Uh, it is 11 a.m. 21st of May 1941, so to you. This is just about when things got really rough for the U-boats in the war. This, I think it was 41 or 42, where the Allies started getting radar and stuff. But, um, yeah, once uh, the seas get rough and... Uh, the time changes, you will see such amazing environmental effects that you won't believe. Like the reflections or the sunsets, the sunrises. And at night, it's pitch black. I mean, there is an option to like not make it as black. Um, and I'll probably like test that out at one point because you really can't see anything. But uh, I guess that's what it, it's meant to like really immerse you in. So this whole game is about immersing you in the um, in the atmosphere, I guess. So I think that uh, as we are progressing towards our patrol point, um, I'm going to leave it at that, and uh, I will catch you guys on the next video where we will enter the patrol area and see what it uh, has in store for us. Um, I'm going to make this one a series and uh, do some missions in this sandbox mode. And uh, hopefully you'll enjoy. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.